Hello and welcome to 4935 Hopton Loop, Dayton, Ohio. My name is John Murray with the Murray Group Biz of Better Homes and Gardens Real Estate, and I will be your host. Here we're standing out in front of this home, and this is a newer construction home that is up for sale as well as rent to own. The owner will consider a rent to own for this home. We have a two car garage, some nice landscaping right here, and next we'll walk around and take a look at the back deck. So here I've just walked around to the side yard, and this is actually a corner lot, and as we see, we'll take a peek over here, there are no neighbors whatsoever to one side, just cornfields. But right here we have the rear deck, and this is uh, just off the backyard here. I'm just walking through the backyard right now. See we have a sliding door on the back right there, then tons of privacy on this side. Just walking to the edge of the property, give you a view here. Just nothing but fields off to the side. House is sitting on the end of a no outlet street, which is right there. So this is the last house on the street and this is just all cornfields and field. It is not uncommon, it's actually very common to see deer out in this field. Of course, with corn up, you can't see them, but once the cord comes down, all kinds of wildlife. Next, let's go through the front door. So here I've just walked through the front door and we're greeted by a ceramic tile entry. This door right here goes down to the finished basement. Over to our left is the formal dining room. One thing, we have very high ceilings on here, a little higher than you normally would see. Makes it feel a lot bigger. Just off of the dining room, we're still, we're heading towards the living room. We have a coat closet and a half bathroom. And this has ceramic tile in the floor here, pedestal sink, backing out of here. Over here to our right, we have the stairs to the second floor. And pan around here to the left, we have the living room. This is on the back side of the home. We have two windows for the living room. Backing into the corner, living room flows into the eat-in kitchen, as well as the kitchen. And here as we're walking in, this is all ceramic tile, and these this is all upgrades. You know, typically you see linoleum in the houses as the builder's regular, so ceramic is definitely an upgrade. We have an eat-at breakfast bar. Kitchen sink overlooks the backyard. Jamoka granite countertops. Uh, they're actually not uh, granite, but that's what the color is called. All the appliances stay, the range, microwave, fridge, and dishwasher stay with the home. Cabinets are oversized cabinets. We have some can lights in the ceiling, and we also have space above the cabinets for storage as well. We also have a built-in pantry, and it's a pretty good sized pantry. Turn around, this is kind of, I'm leaning up against the kitchen counter right now. You can see the eat-in kitchen into going into the living room. Then just off of the eat-in area, we have the utility room. There's also a pretty good sized section over here that we can't see as well. Right here, this is the door to the two-car garage. So next, we're gonna back out here and let's go check out the basement. So here I've just walked down the stairs and entered into the basement. I'm just gonna back into a corner here over here we have the mechanical room and a large storage area. Panning to the left. Have a good sized basement. It's actually kind of two different sections. We have the section here with the bed. Kind of, this is kind of being used as a master bedroom because we have a full bathroom over on the other side there. But I'm backing into the mechanical room and storage room and this really gives you a better perspective of how large this area really is. Could easily wall that off, have another bedroom, and still have your family room here. Next we're gonna walk over and check out the full bathroom. And again, we're down here in the basement. We have a shower tub. And you can see this is in pretty good shape here. Backing out, and this is, I'm not counting this as one of the bedrooms. This would, could just be the, the bonus bedroom or rec room, family room, if you will. So we'll walk over here, we're gonna check out the mechanical room and storage room. 
So as we walk in, you can you notice that this home does have a sump pump, furnace, water heater, and a gigantic breaker box. The foundation of this home is all poured concrete. And both of the furnace and the water heater are electric. Next, we're going to head out of the basement. I'm going to go through the rooms and I'm going to take you to the top of the stairs. Um, for the second floor, that is. So here I've just walked to the top of the stairs. And once you walk to the top, you can look out the window and see the front of the home here. Turning to our left, we have bedroom number one. Has a bifold closet door, two windows. Backing out of there, we can see the landing here for the second floor. Bedroom number two, bedroom number three, bedroom number four, which is the master. If you're keeping track, the one in the basement could be bedroom number five. Let's turn here, bedroom number two. Have a double window, and this is on the front of the home. Have a bifold closet door there. And coming back out into the hallway. We have a linen closet right here to our left. Then bedroom number three, this is on the side of the home. This has a bifold closet door there as well. Then full bathroom number two. We have a full bathroom in the basement. This is a guest bathroom. Shower tub in here. And this is bathroom, full bathroom number two. There was a half bath on the first floor. Then back in out of the guest bathroom. Takes us to the master bedroom. So we're a little out of focus. There we go. We're back in. I'm going to back over into the master bathroom area. Give you a good look at the master bedroom. This is bedroom number four. And we have a walk-in closet here for the master bedroom. We have wire shelves. Sorry, we're a little out of focus there. Wire shelves that wrap all the way around. And backing out of the master closet, another view of the master bedroom. And this overlooks the backyard. So walk in here, we'll see the master bathroom. So if you're keeping track, this is the third full bath. So we have three full bathrooms and one half bathroom. Single vanity with the sitting area, sitting makeup area. Shower tub in here as well. We also have a built-in linen closet in the bathroom as well. Next I'm going to back out of here and head back downstairs. So here I'm again in the dining room and just wanted to give you a few closing statements. Thanks for watching this video of this great home on Hopton Loop. If you have any questions about this home or if you'd like to see it in person, feel free to give me a call. Again, my name is John Murray with the murraygroup.biz of Better Homes and Gardens Real Estate. Also give me a call or email me if you have any questions on the details of how the rent to own works, I can be reached on my cell phone at area code 937-248-1856 or by email, that is john, J-O-N, at buywithjohn.com, B-U-Y-W-I-T-H-J-O-N.com. Thanks for watching.